Nick here from Murky Customs. Uh, the Zerg Berg is officially finished. Uh, you'll notice it's about the same size as the coffee table and everything. Uh, so I thought I'd go ahead and take a moment and show you uh, most of it I guess you've already seen, but go ahead and just walk you through it real quick. Go ahead and start this file transfer over here so we can get the lights dancing. Okay, so what we have here, oh, as you'll occasionally see some orange lights blinking around, went ahead and started a file transfer. So what we have here are 38 uh, USB 3 connected hard drives that are connecting uh, to the PC over here, all over USB 3. We've got six controllers, all with four ports piece, all with separate controllers on those. Uh, then we've got another eight on the board there and another ten on the board. Uh, I'm sorry. Got ten on the board over there, uh, another uh, four through the USB headers there, and then we've got 24 here. Uh, this is a Xeon-based system. We're running 16 gigs of DDR4 ECC memory. Uh, and, of course, we've got the, the Xeon there. Uh, we've got a 1,000-watt power supply from Antec. Um, which, the one thing I'll point out from Antec, while they do make beautiful power supplies, especially for on the high end here, they are an absolute bitch to sleeve. Uh, because ones like these have the funky 20 by 8 pin instead of a standard straight through um, 24 pin. And that makes it a bitch because cables loop out and loop back. And so the same one will connect to three different places. And it's kind of a bitch if you're not completely pulling out all the pins. Now we did do that here. Uh, but still it's a little bit more of a headache to keep track of where everything's going. So basically the pinouts on the front here are not one for one for the pinouts on the other side. Um, and it's always a hell of a lot easier when you can go from left pin to left pin instead of left pin goes to front right third from the center pin. Um, so, well, I mean, everything's sleeved and it looks okay, but it also makes it uh, impossible to do a sleeving combination. You'll notice I do not have the same sleeving set over there as I do over here, and that's because obviously the cable that's on the far left here is not the cable that's on the far left there because they don't do the pinouts on the inside of the power supply. They do, um, they do the, the conversion from the connector side, which is kind of a bitch. But then again, you have a really nice solid power supply uh, that's going to last you for quite some time. I think it comes with a seven-year warranty, which is um, uh, quite nice. And I built this system... Hush. I built this system uh, to last him forever, or for quite a bit of time. Particularly when you have something as funky as this, where we are going the absolute asinine route. Now, I've talked about this in a couple of the other videos. Basically, what we decided to do here is this client had a server that died and was looking for something a little bit oddball to use as a server. Now, we obviously could have gone with... Uh, you know, a normal ATX system grabbed a bunch of, uh, you know, PCI, uh, PCIe uh, cards, uh, connected up a crap ton of SATA ports. I mean, we could have done the same thing we've done here with SATA drives, essentially. And we could have gotten 230 terabytes-ish, which, A, it would have cost an absolute fortune. But, B, you know, it's kind of been done to death. Uh, anybody can just grab... And they do, can just grab as many SATA ports as you want and you connect up what you want. Um, you know, it's probably a little more uh, safe to do it that way. What we decided to do was to go completely left field. Lily, hush. We just, it's a dog over there. Uh, we decided to go completely left field with this and just go as completely outside of the box as we can. And so what we've literally done here, as I mentioned earlier, these are all USB 3 connected. There's absolutely nothing. You notice there's all your SATA ports on the side there. There's absolutely nothing connected. The only one that's hard in there is the, MP, uh, the MPCIe uh, card right there. So that's the internal hard drive. And then everything else here is connected over USB 3. That's 38 USB 3 drives, which is bonkers. I believe we can all agree with that. So uh, when you go this extreme, a um, couple things to keep in mind. One is price. Obviously, things get a little bit expensive when you go this route. Uh, particularly when you consider the cost of these cards, which will run you about 130 bucks a piece. Um, you know, and then you've got things like these enclosures. Now, these enclosures are also... Lily! Hush! These enclosures are, um, you know, they're really nice. They're all metal. They're made by IC Dock. Um, but, you know, these run you another 30 bucks a piece. 
So, I mean, if you can get them on clearance, you're still talking, you know, $1,000 in just, you know, drive bays, which, which you know, all this little stuff kind of adds up. Um, okay, so let me go ahead and walk you around the side here. Base, ooh, dirt on it. Uh, this is all leather. Uh, I hand-stitched all this stuff. I am not a leather worker. Um, we knew that going into it. It was kind of a pain in the ass. I got about 60 hours in stitching. But, all that said, it still looks really, really nice. Uh, go ahead and walk you around this thing. And then basically, you know, you know, this is wood underneath. And so we've got a wood chassis. Uh, in fact, I should probably show you all the different little pieces. You know, we've got the side rails that support these drives. You notice down at the bottom there, there's a runner. Those runners go around the whole thing. There's two support channels right there. There's a couple of support channels underneath this power supply here, even though they're actually not necessary. Um, and of course, it's just all bolted together. Kind of going to walk around the thing. Then we come down. I had these fabricated, you know, nothing drastic, but these are just um, half inch bar stock that they turn hairpin and make a little corner piece out of. And then, of course, you can just screw those in since we're dealing with wood. And I'm going to go ahead and look under here I don't know how God, I don't know how much of this you're really gonna be able to see but the little blinking light show so you know everything is nice and neat and tidy I know it probably doesn't look like that right now in one of the earlier videos before it was there you go got some blinking lights one of the earlier videos before this was uh before I put the feet on, then this was kind of up about uh, a couple of feet uh, where you could get under it and pull the old mechanic. Uh, you were able to see it a little bit better. Um, but it's actually really nice and clean under there. And of course, you know, sitting from the back, it is a coffee table. Uh, that's a bronze glass top. Um, and it's stable. You know, we, ha we have no problems. We have, this is roughly a little over 17 terabytes. I'll show you in just a second here. Um, I, you know, I, I don't, I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> if you have any questions, give me a shout. I'm going to go ahead and pan over real quick. We go ahead and look here. Da, 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 da. Sorry, storage spaces, dog barking. And uh, of course, hey, we've loaded up most of this. So ultimately what we have here is we, it's a 17.2 terabyte array. We're using 15.1 terabytes of it right now. And of course, if you look at the physical drives, we have 38 USB 3 drives all connected. And that's all she wrote. So give me a shout. Let me know what you think. Questions, comments, concerns. Go ahead and yelp at me. Thanks. Bye.